the 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 first thing we need to look at is when I'm, we're talking to somebody is what the, what kind of language are they using? So how are they describing this current situation and uh, how they are they talking about potentially the future? So what why would you look at that? Well, because the way someone talks or speaks about anything, be it business, be it money, be it relationships, when when they do talk, they're expressing their internal beliefs. So what's going on inside of them, mm-hmm. and so that's what gets uh, presented. So. Uh, if you've done a fair bit of work on yourself or you have cleared away uh, you know, your own emotional baggage and you, it's a continual process and you work on your mindset, then, then you hear things a little bit differently when people speak. So I always look for, is someone speaking in a way where they're, they're, uh, they're feeling at peace or they're, they're, they're calm, they're being positive or they're they being negative, are they uh, talking at a fear base? Mm. And that's the first thing we looked at. So we heard things such as, oh, in this shit time. So mm. we're going, okay, well, where's everyone at? And the first thing that I would recommend if you're listening to this is just ask yourself the question, what's my honest you know, response to what's going on at the moment? And if it's something like, oh, well, it's a shit time, it's scary time, all the rest of it, then that would be the first thing that I would address. Because at this point, if, if that becomes our mantra, if that becomes a thing that we're going to keep saying, then chances are that's going to pan out that way. It's going to become your reality because you block then any opportunity to see the, the opportunities that are out there. So uh, that also creates an emotional response. So if I'm sitting here saying, oh, Brad, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. Mm. My business is going to go under. It's a shit time. Mm. Or, or that while some of that stuff could be true, like it, it, it's, it's not helpful. Mm. and it's going to make you weak in the moment you know it's going to take away all your strength to come up with any kind of creativity and and to get through this part so the first thing is to look at our language and suspend that so you know find a different way to articulate it because if you are saying it's shit it's scary all that stuff well that's going to create the motion in your body Mm. and it's going to block off your subconscious so you're telling your subconscious that's what it is and so your subconscious will show you more evidence why it's crap you'll be attracted to all the negative uh, publicity out there, the media, you'll, you'll be consumed by it, which then leaves very little room for saying, well, hang on. Where's uh, the solution? Where's the solution in all this? Yeah, how am I, I going to solve it? And as soon as that occurs, that creativity becomes incredibly blocked and it becomes very challenging then to, to find the solution. And all you'll look for is more of what you're attracting and, and then something will roll in. You'll have a client that will say to you, hey, I am physically going to put myself in isolation and you know, you, you can't really find the solution. You're going, okay, there, there's someone there, boom, all right. I've, and there's another one, boom. And so everywhere I turn, I'm going to see more of it. 